What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit more in depth of using a PS4 controller or an Xbox One controller on your device and being able to play emulators with it. I had someone ask yesterday about it uh, and how I like to use it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this in this video. Now, unfortunately on iOS 12, the only way you can connect to these controllers to your device is being jailbroken. I made an in-depth video on it yesterday, so if you guys wanna see how to do it or how to connect these controllers to your device, uh, be sure to check out that video for more details. Uh, but I do wanna add quickly before I get into this tutorial that it's pretty neat that in iOS 13, you will natively be able to connect these controllers to your device. You will not have to be jailbroken to do this. And the emulator that we're going to be using is actually from Tweakbox, and that does not require a jailbreak either. So in iOS 13, in theory, you should be able to do this with no jailbreak, which is awesome, at least for me, because I love playing retro games. Uh, but anyways, this is how you're going to play emulators with these controllers on your device. So the first thing you're going to need is an emulator. The one I like to use is called Provenance. And like I said, you can get this from Tweakbox. If you guys need to see how to get Tweakbox, I'll leave a video tutorial in the description. But first thing you're going to want to do is go into Tweakbox here. We'll wait for the advertisement. We'll go ahead and close that out. And then we'll go into Apps. And we go into Tweakbox Apps here. And then you just swipe down until you see Provenance. And it's down here a bit. So we'll just keep on swiping until we find it. So there is Provenance. So you can go ahead and select on the application and you go ahead and click on install. Now I've already installed it, so I'm not gonna click install again, but you'd click install again, and then it'll basically install this application onto your device. The next step is you need to trust this application in order to open it and use it. So to do that, we're gonna swipe over, go into settings here, and I'll start from the top so you guys can see how to navigate to it. Go to general, go down and see you see profiles and device management, and then you'll just have to find the profile and I know where it is already and it, like I said it's already trusted so I don't have to do this but uh, right where you see delete apps you'll see a trust button so you click on trust and then you click trust one more time and that will allow you to open and launch the application so now that you've done that you can actually open up provenance but when you guys go in here you'll notice you don't have any games you don't have any save states it'll basically be completely blank so you need to install the games or the ROMs rather now, before we start downloading games, uh, it's good to know what gaming consoles this this uh, emulator supports. And to find that, you go to the gear here, which are all the settings for the application. You can go into the cores, and then you can check out all the different cores that it does support. It's a lot of old consoles, just so you guys know. So it's going to be like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, um, N64, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, all the all that old stuff. There's a lot of old stuff, and you can dive in deep to see exactly what they all support. So as you can see right here, Visual Boy Advance, an emulator for Game Boy and Game Boy Advance systems. Like I said, you can go through all these just to make sure that the game you're trying to get uh, is supported within this uh, emulator. So to install a game, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to go ahead and go into Safari. And I like to download them from this website here, romsmania.com or .cc. And as you can see uh, from the homepage here, you have your popular consoles. So for example, we'll do Super Nintendo. And then this is the most popular games for that console. Uh, for example, we'll just do Donkey Kong Country. So go ahead and select on the game you want to install. And then you just swipe down here until you see the green download button. Click on download. Now keep in mind this part can take a little while. It really depends on how big the game is that you're installing because it's basically downloading it right now. So the bigger the game, the longer it's gonna take to download. So keep in mind this part could take a little while. So be patient, let it download. And as you can see, we're about halfway done. And it should be done in just a second here. I've noticed that um, sometimes this part can take a long, long time. Uh, like I said, just be patient. Don't exit the application. Just sit here and wait until it downloads. It will download. So as you can see, once you have downloaded the game, there's an option right here to open in provenance. Uh, so you can just click on that and it will launch the game in the application and install it. If it doesn't show open in provenance here, it might show open in files. What you can do is click on more 
and then you can actually select copy to provenance. So I'll just do that. It's basically the same as the other button. And as you can see, it, it uh, instantly installed the game. And there are advertisements, as you guys can see, within Providence. It is a free application. The developers got to make some money somehow, so there is ads. Um, but it seems to only happen while you're on the library screen here. It doesn't happen while playing games, which is really nice. So <clears throat> as you guys can see, it did install the game. I could launch it and play it. I'm actually just going to go ahead and resume a game here. Uh, let's say no. Actually, first off, we need to actually get our Xbox One controller connected because as you guys can see it does show the the uh the touch controls on the screen there so if you guys don't have controllers you can play this with touch controls but i think uh having a controller is is just much much better so we'll go ahead and exit out of provenance and i'll swipe over here now the nice thing about end control like i said i covered this uh this jailbreak tweak slash application yesterday is uh once you have paired your device to it you pretty much just have to turn the controller on and it should automatically connect to your device. As you can see, I just turned on my Xbox One controller and it did connect directly to my device. Now I can verify it. Let's go into end control. Let's go to Xbox wireless controller. Let's click on the little button there. And as you can see, it does say disconnect device. So it did automatically connect, which is really cool. So you don't have to actually pair it every time. If you want to use your controller, literally just turn it on and start playing. So let's go into Providence. Let's go ahead and load up uh, Super Mario here. I'm just gonna say no on this. And then we will, I guess, just select this level and I'll play through it to show you guys it does work. There's not really any lag. It just, it feels so nice to be able to play games like this. Uh, it's so much easier playing these retro games with a physical controller versus, you know, the touch screen controls. It's just on another level. As you guys can probably tell, I have, you know, full control over, oh, Full control over Mario here and it just it really takes the retro gaming to a whole nother level having a physical controller with physical buttons to use and I really do like it let's see if we can't hit this dude there we go so as you can see there's there's really no lag which is awesome I've had problems in the past with you know connecting controllers with Bluetooth and there being lags uh, lag with emulators and it just doesn't run really nice uh, but as you can see this is pretty much instant I have complete control over Mario, like I was saying. It's just, it feels so good. It's so fun. Oh, no. Okay, we made it. Let's see if we can't get through this level. Uh, we'll wait a second here. But, yeah, this, you know, being able to play Game Boy games, Super Nintendo games, regular Nintendo games, what have you, it's seriously, seriously fun. And this is just the emulator of choice I like to use. There is a ton of different emulators you can actually use. Uh, these controllers with this is just the one I like because it is available through Tweakbox. Um, it does not require a jailbreak to get the application. Of course, on iOS 12 to con connect these controllers, that does require a jailbreak because we are using a tweak. But uh, in the future, though, with iOS 13, you should be able to do this with no jailbreak completely seamlessly. And I think that is seriously awesome. As soon as there is a iOS 13 public beta, I will be testing this out and making videos on it for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but that's basically how you're going to run these controllers with an emulator on your device. It's really, really fun, guys. Trust me. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.